All right, hi friends, welcome back to Ella Bab Nails where we talk about vegan and cruelty-free nail polish. Today I have color comparisons for Zoya's Intriguing Collection. This was from winter 2020, 2021. And there are 12 polishes in this collection. This is not my live swatch interview, so if you wanna see these swatched, I will link that up here in the corner. These are just gonna be comparisons for each of these shades to show you how it fits into Zoya's collection. I will put bookmarks in, so if you kind of hover your mouse or your finger over the bottom Bottom bar on this video, you should be able to jump to the polishes that you're most interested in. All right, let's dive in and look at comparisons for these 12 shades. Okay, first up, we're gonna look at Lottie. This one is a kind of like snowy, pearly white shimmer. All right, so I tried to pull some of the kind of shimmery whites from Zoya and then also some of these other just kind of like lighter, not super dense shimmers, um, or not super like densely colored shimmers, I guess is the right word there. Uh, Lottie looks compared to Janessa, Serafina, Alicia, like it has a lot more pink in it. Um, and then these ones look a little bit more yellow toned, almost like, almost kind of gold on the edge there. Uh, Lottie does look super different here. I will say, I'm gonna show you them on the nails. I actually think that on the nails, just because of the way the light reflects, it's, not as easy to tell the difference. It just kind of dries down a little bit darker. So you'll see what I mean in just a second. Okay, so I actually turned my um, light down a little bit here just because I think it helps you see the difference in these. In the bottle, they look super different. On the nails, I don't know. I actually think like in my two coats here, it's really hard for me to tell the difference. It's really hard for me to tell the difference. I have uh, Janessa, Lottie, Serafina, and Lottie. And I can see the difference, I think, more between uh, Serafina and Lottie than I can between Janessa and Lottie. I think because Janessa and Lottie are the same finish. Um, but they both just reflect back so much light. You don't get as much of the color. So if you absolutely love this finish and you are dying for one that's a little bit more pink, then you might love Lottie. But if you already have Janessa, you might not need this one. So um, yeah, up to you. But I'm kind of having a hard time telling the difference between these ones. Okay, we're gonna look at Beverly. Beverly is this really pretty um, kind of like dusty cranberry color. And I have a whole bunch here and I'm sure that there are others that you are gonna ask me for, um, but these are the ones that I really thought were the closest. So I pulled out Pepper was a request. Um, Pepper is a bit more red than Beverly. And then I have Kendra that's a little bit more purple. I pulled in Briar just cause it's a recent one, but it's obviously very, very different. Um, and then Riley and Yvonne, it's like they're all related, um, but they're not, you know, quite dupes yet. I pulled in Mona just to show you I don't know, this one's, Beverly has a little bit of purple, but Mona's definitely more purple. Okay, so I am gonna show you these four on the nails. I do think that they're pretty close. Um, in the bottles, they look really different though, but I think like Kendra, Beverly, Yvonne, they look somewhat close. Um, I do think Beverly is unique though. Okay, here we go. This is Yvonne, Beverly, Kendra, and Pepper. Oh, I just stuck my finger in Pepper. <laughs> Oops. Um, anyways, I think you can see here that definitely Beverly and Kendra are related. Beverly and Yvonne are related. Yvonne has more red. It's a little bit brighter and juicier. And Kendra has a little bit more of that purple. So these are definitely not dupes. Um, I think Beverly is unique in Zoya's collection, which is awesome because it's beautiful. Okay, we're gonna look at Brett now. This is the really pretty kind of denim-y cream uh, blue from this collection. I love this one, and I have a lot of blues to show you it compared to. Okay, so here we go. We have Brett compared to uh, a whole bunch of blues from Zoya. Definitely there are some here that are closer than others, but I wanted to just kind of give you the wide spectrum for a second, and then we'll zoom in on the ones that I think are closest. Okay, so here are the four that I think are closest. This is Natty, Brett, Sailor, and Vesper, and I definitely think that Brett is like kind of like Sailor and Vesper combined. Um, I thought it was gonna be closer to Natty, but Natty has a little bit more of that kind of like peacock blue actually, whereas Brett is a little bit more of that like purpley gray blue. So I'm gonna show you these four on the nails. Okay, so this is Vesper, Brett, Sailor, and Natty. And yeah, I think you can definitely tell that Brett is different. I still say it's probably like Vesper and Sailor had a baby and that baby was Brett. <laughs> so this one's definitely unique in Zoya's collection. I mean, we just need all the blues, so not a problem with me. Okay, here we go. Here are some comparisons for Avi. And I, again, wanted to bring in a whole bunch of kind of popular shades here. I don't know that there are any dupes, but I do think that the closest are probably Michaela, Monica, 
not really Debbie, but I, I just like showing you Debbie because I think Avi looks kind of uh, brown in the bottle. So I am gonna show you these four on the nails, but as you can see here, I really think that there are gonna be um, strong differences. Okay, so here is Monica, Avi, Michaela, and Debbie. And obviously, of course, these are all different, um, but hopefully they give you kind of a sense of where Avi falls. Uh, and we saw it compared to some others like Odette, Trudis, some others that were very popular. And yeah, I think it's unique, which is cool. I think all the creams um, so far that we've looked at are unique in this collection. And yeah, I don't know. I I think I've talked about this before. Purples are just not my favorite color. And, and when I do wear purple, I tend to wear warmer purples. I just think they look nicer on my skin tone. Um, so this one's not my favorite cream from the collection, but it is really nice, has a great formula, and it's unique. Okay, next up is Eunice. And this one is the lovely kind of metallic chartreuse. And I'm excited to show you some comparisons for this one. Um, this one's so fun. <laughs> It was really surprising how much I liked this one. Okay, so I know Eunice is a shimmer, but somebody asked me in the comments of my swatch and review to pull in Arbor here, just so that you could kind of see the uh, base color there. Eunice has a lot more of that chartreuse, that green, which Zoya really doesn't have any chartreuse except for this one, in my personal opinion. I also pulled in Scout because I think Scout is the most similar in terms of the kind of green, yellowy green shimmer, but you can see they're super different. So I am gonna show you um, Scout, Eunice, and Arbor on the nails, but um, this one's pretty unique. Okay, here we go. This is Scout, Eunice, Arbor, and Scout. And yeah, again, you can see that they are super different, but hopefully seeing them on the nails just helps kind of highlight those differences. I, yeah, I really like Eunice. I don't know. I just really didn't expect to like it as much as I did. Um, but I think it's super unique and really, really fun. And you can see Arbor, it's definitely similar, but Arbor doesn't quite have as much of that like yellow chartreusiness in it. Um, it's a little bit more kind of like muted, almost a little bit more uh, sagey almost. Um, it just doesn't quite have that yellow undertone. Okay, next up is Nico. This one is a kind of gold with a strong silver shimmer. And I have just a couple to compare this one to. There aren't as many for me to compare this one to. Okay, so I tried to bring in some other golds that are not uh, like super strong gold. So I didn't bring in like Ziv and those ones that are definitely like a, a super strong metallic gold. I brought in some kind of shimmery golds. So Brooklyn is a little bit more of like a yellow shimmery gold. It's more of like a metallic than a shimmer. And Gal is, I don't even know how to describe that one. <laughs> Gal is like a gold green kind of. Uh, and then I did just want to pull in Scout and Eunice because I think in some of the promo pictures, um, Eunice and Nico looked a little bit closer to me than, than they definitely are in real life. So now I'll show you these three um, on the nails. Okay, here we go. This is Brooklyn, Nico, Gal, and Nico. And yeah, they're definitely different. I would say the finish is probably more similar between Gal and Nico than Brooklyn and Nico, but definitely the colors are very different. So I hope this is helpful just to see them live a little bit, but yeah, I would say they're definitely different. Okay, next up is Coley, and this one is the kind of rich pink with a little bit of a like pink shimmer. The rich pink base is warm and that shimmer is a little bit cooler toned. Okay, Zoya has lots of shimmery pinks, <laughs> which are probably my least favorite polish to wear ever, so that's cool. Um, Coley is here and I think Fallon is probably the closest, but you'll see Fallon is a little bit cooler toned. The shimmer in Fallon is blue and so it's different from that warm pink shimmer in Coley. And then Rosa is one that a lot of people ask me about, but the difference in those to is really in the color of the base. Rosa has that kind of like warm, vibrant pink base and Coley is a little bit more almost like fuchsia. It's like much deeper. Um, it's still warm toned, um, but it's more like red in there. So I'm gonna show you these three on the nails, um, but wanted to bring in some others just so you could get a sense for how they compare. Okay, here we go. Here are the pinks. This one is Fallon, Coley, Rosa, and Coley. And I am gonna say that Fallon and Coley look less different on the nails than I expected. Definitely Fallon is richer, it has that more blue under there, um, and Coley's warmer, has more red, but they're, they're more similar than I expected, so just wanna call that out. Again, shimmery pinks, probably my least favorite thing to wear in the entire world, <laughs> but um, if they're your thing, you might be really excited to have all of these. 
Okay, next up we're gonna look at Regina. This is the pretty green metallic from this collection and I have a bunch of pretty greens to show you down here. Okay, so I pulled a lot of greens to compare. Um, I don't know because I was really excited. I love greens. Um, so I think Regina is definitely different from all of these. It has almost like a more kind of yellow green, whereas you can see all of the other greens that I've pulled, like Ivanka, Logan, Giovanna, they all have a little bit more blue in them. And so I did want to pull Envy just to show you it's closer in color. Tabitha is the only other one that I think has that kind of more yellow undertone, um, but it's more yellow than Regina. Regina has like a cooler shimmer in it. I'm going to show you these four on the nails because I think they're probably the closest. I had a couple people ask me about Logan, even though, you know, I do think they have a slightly different finish. I can see why people were interested in that. So I'm going to show you those four on the nails. Okay, here we go. Here is Regina compared to Tabitha, Logan, and Envy. And yeah, I mean, definitely the shimmers in here are different between all three of them, as are the base colors. Um, and then Envy, of course, is just that really pretty deep, deep green. Um, so none of these are dupes. I think Regina is totally gorgeous, absolutely banging, and unique in Zoya's collection. Okay, next up we're gonna look at Nisha, which is the very pretty kind of blurple metallic. It definitely needs more blue. Um, and there are so many pretty purple metallics to compare this one to. Okay, here we go. There's a whole bunch here and there's even more I could have pulled, but Nisha is pretty different from a lot of the ones that Zoya has because it has this really strong, cool blue undertone. So it's much closer to Neve and Belinda than I think it is to Gem or Hope or Giada, these ones that are a lot more warmer toned. Um, so I am gonna show it to you on the nails compared to Belinda, Neve, and just for reference, I'm gonna show you Giada because it is a little bit warmer toned, but it's kind of on that line. It's like a grapey purple between warm and cold. Okay, here we go. This is Neve, Nisha, Belinda, and Giada. Oh my goodness, they're all so beautiful. I will say that Neve and Nisha are closer than I expected. Um, they're not exact dupes. Definitely Neve is a little bit more blue, uh, but they're they're very close. They're a lot closer than I expected um, given how different they, look. they looked in the bottle and also on the swatch stick, um, but they are definitely closer than I expected. They're not identical by any means, but yeah, they're definitely closer. Okay, next up is Isti, and this one is the only pixie dust in this collection. I'm just gonna compare it to pixie dusts because they really just have such a different finish um, that even if it's similar to a shimmer in your collection, really just the pixie dusts are the one that um, makes sense for me to compare it to. So I'm gonna show you some other blue ones. There are some other pretty pixie dusts in Zoya's collection. Okay, so I brought in NYX and Liberty, and I kind of think that if NYX and Liberty had a baby polish. It would be Isti. It has the kind of cool gray shimmer from NYX and then the more like bolder blue from Liberty. I also pulled in Bay and Alice just to show you, but obviously those are super different. Alice is a bit more periwinkle. Bay is a bit more of that kind of like brighter, lighter sea foamy blue. Uh, so I'm going to show you Isti, NYX, and Liberty on the nails. Okay, here we go. So this is NYX, Isti, Liberty, and Isti. And and yeah, they're obviously super different. I think you can see in Isti the kind of royal blue and the silver glitters. They're all really pretty, but definitely really different. NYX is my personal favorite. I don't love the pixie dusts, but I do like the ones that are a little bit more kind of neutral. Um, those ones I think are really pretty. Okay, I have been so excited about this one. This one is Meredith. Oh my goodness, I love this blue so much. Um, a couple people asked me about comparing it to Dream and I have some other blues to show you as well. Okay, so here we go. This one is Meredith and then I did pull in Dream. It's the Scattered Hollow. It has a really different finish, but I thought it'd be helpful to see the uh, the color, the base at least, and see those comparisons. And then I also brought in Song and then Jen, which is from last year's winter collection pretty sure 2019. Um, and so I'm gonna show you those four on the nails. I also did just wanna show you some kind of representative samples from other blues from Zoya. They have a couple that have this kind of like bluey green color and then a couple that have this lighter blue color. Definitely those are super different than Meredith. So I'm just gonna show you Jen, Song, Meredith, and Dream. Okay, here we go. Dream, Meredith, Jen, and Song. 
These are all lovely. Um, I did do a comparison of Jen and Song, and so you can see those kind of more up close in my comparisons for last year's winter collection, which I can link up top here. But as far as Meredith goes, Meredith is definitely different than these. It's not quite as royal blue as Jen and Song. It's a little bit more uh, almost like a navy. And then Dream, like I said, that that finish is just totally different and the base is a little bit more kind of denim -y versus the navy here. So I think these are all super different. So I think Meredith is super unique. Okay, I saved Soko for last. Reds are my least favorite comparison to do. I have such a hard time telling the difference between them, but I got some tips from a friend of mine who is really good at reds. Um, she's Schmalish Malish on Instagram. I'll link her down below because that username is very hard to turn from words into letters. Um, okay, so she suggested a couple of these that I brought out and it was really helpful for me to start my comparisons here. So Soko has just this like very subtle hint of orange in it. It's not a very blue toned red, that much I can tell. And so I pulled out a lot of my like warmer reds, not as many blues here. Um, so I pulled out Haley, Mora, and Demetria, which are a little bit more of like orangey reds. And then um, Suki, Gia, and Tanya that are, they're kind of inching towards that cooler toned red. And Carmen has a little bit more of that kind of like softer pinkness to it. There are a bunch of reds in Zoya's collection that have more pink in it than Carmen. Um, but I thought that Soko kind of sat right in the middle here. So I am gonna show you it compared to Gia, Suki, and Demetria, just so you can see them up close. Um, but I hope that this gives you a sense of where it fits uh, kind of overall. All right, so last up, here we go. Here is Soko. And I would say it looks probably closest to Suki and to Gia. It's not quite as orange as Demetria. Um, again, I find it really hard to compare these. It's not identical to either Gia or Suki because it has a little bit more orange. I don't know if that's gonna translate on camera. Yeah, I think you can tell there's a little bit of a difference between my two fingers here. So I do think this one's unique in Zoya's collection. Uh, so if you love a good red, um, this one will definitely be unique for you. Okay, so those were all of the comparisons for this collection. I would say that these ones are the most unique. This is Isti, Meredith, Eunice, Nico, Regina, and Brett. The other ones were unique. I don't think there were any in this collection that were dupes, um, but I would say these ones are the most unique from others in Zoya's collection. As always, thank you so much for joining this video and hanging out with me. I can't wait to see you in next week's video. Bye.